<laughs> Guys, I got I got some bad news for you. I might have to fire you. Uh, Your videos aren't doing well. The Jerry's nobody wants to see the Jerry's. We're gonna have to step oh, it up some. Uh, Maybe we gotta start getting naked right now. <laughs> Day 22 here. Before we get into it today, I just want to announce the winner of the free rider giveaway, uh, the all expenses paid trip to come out here and ride with us. The winner is Chase Zavaki. So congratulations to him. And uh, you know, maybe we'll have to do it again in the future, but let's get into today's video. We got the Jerry's out again. We're on the 165 due today. I friggin', I really bunged up the plastics the other day. <laughs> Ripped the reflector right off underneath the wrap even. Before we go up today, we gotta take off this vent and replace it. That's tight. That's loose. We got the sled parts. Last year I put a piece of tape over this so branches wouldn't catch it as easy. I probably should have done that again. We're gonna put lunch in the side panel right now because it's a little bit frozen. I think it should fit. My lunch is definitely too big for my side panel, but we made it work. If it wasn't frozen, it'd be a little better. Truck check, it was over lunch today. We'll cook it on low for about uh, 20 minutes here while we go up the trail, because it's still frozen. And then we'll slowly crank up the heat as we get into the trees. We got Derek on his dad's backup sled today, which is a 165 G4 non-turbo. So that'd be quite the adjustment for him. So I think I'll probably just give Derek my, not give, but temporarily give or let him use my 154 Summit Expert from last year. I still have it, it's at the dealer. He's got a new running bar put on, but. Derek's supposed to be my assistant this year, helping me film and edit all that stuff, so it's not much good to me if he doesn't have a snowmobile. There are a lot of trucks in here. Hope they don't go where uh, I was planning to head. That's a nice stabber. There's a spot up and over this bridge that I actually haven't gone before, so we're gonna go and try and check that out. Is this your tracks? No. No? It's, oh, a, over further. it's a lot of them. There's a lot of, been a lot it's like a highway. Yeah, it's kind of looking like these tracks go exactly where I want it to go. So you can see a little cliff band there. We want to drop in here. Ah, it's fully tracked. So much for having an original idea. <laughs> People just cover so much more ground these days with the sleds and the technology we have. Yeah, I wanted to come check all this out because I thought there'd be some cool stuff, which there is. I'm sure that's what these guys dropped in here for, was to play on this. Wonder if that's a chute you could pull right to the top. That'd be cool. Oh, there's a chute for sure, right to the top. Can't believe I've never been back here, honestly. Just kind of want to check it all out now. Looks like this is as far as they went. We'll keep going down. Definitely some uh, slides that wipe through here though. Look at all these broken trees. Pretty neat in here, eh? Yeah. Obviously there's some people that know about it. Oh yeah. There's nothing that's hidden anymore. No. Yeah, I'm okay. My leg's a little stuck, but my tunnel went under a log. Couldn't see at all. It looked like your mouse trap. 
And I should have been able to push the sled off, no problem, doing the bow tie. But the freaking tunnel went under that log there. You could see all the bark stuck to my uh, bumper there. I uh, had a hard time getting it off. Yeah, that's a pretty dumb one. That's why uh, it's nice to always make sure someone's close by when you're doing that. I would have got out of my own, but it's not a nice feeling being freaking stuck with your sled. It's an interesting spot to get stuck. <laughs> Tired from last night? A little bit. <laughs> Dude, I've been trying to behave. The old guys are out partying and uh, we're working. <laughs> They're trying to make that 165 work. It's working it. I think it's his first time on a 65. Not bad, no? Uh -huh. <laughs> a different beast in the turbo. That's for sure. Oh! You alright over there? <laughs> Thank God my snow wheel didn't come down behind me. Big air! It's small, but it looks sweet with the deep snow. <laughs> Since he's good. I don't know if that's the case. Oh, he's got it. First time I see this guy work on his sled. Hey, hey. I tightened the track the other day. But uh, I still, still didn't bring my tools today, <laughs> though. I was just about to say that. Working with gloves on is almost impossible. It makes you feel really dumb. You know what else makes you feel pretty dumb? Hitting a wall. <laughs> Work our way down here, see if there's any more kind of pillow gardens. I think there might be one more up here. Nope, nothing. Okay, so now we'll just drop into the trees, get the guys 
all stuck. <laughs> and then we'll see where our lunch is because it's probably pretty done. Oh, there's another pillow garden. Rock garden, whatever. There's some sharp rocks pointing out through here. Uh oh, oh, oh shit. Wow. Don't know what happened there. Whoa. Almost went right into that tree though. My ski dug, spit me, and then my steering was locked. Let's see if it happens to Jerry. Nope, got more control than me. <laughs> I can maybe wrap around this kind of cliff bin that we've been following and get into another kind of area of the same thing. Oh, <laughs> he's stuck now. I got spit out on this log right here. Check this area out quick. See if we can get everyone into it. Oh! It's kind of neat there. Wow, is there ever a lot of logs through here? stuff in here too. It'd be cool if we could all make this pull up through this. There's, there's some neat stuff up here. I feel like we're in the low snow conditions again. Almost right down to ground. Hey, you doing? Now we're going to go over and up. What about down now? And you just come back up the gut. It's easier to stay higher back there. I 
don't think we're all gonna be able to do that. We've got a snow bike right there. I don't think he's stuck, just chilling. We got Derek right there. Can't really tell what's going on. Thinking of stuck. We're gonna have lunch. Have you guys figured out what I got in here? Oh, yes, perfect. Let's see what is on the menu. I'm excited for this one. Juicy. Oh yeah, full rack of ribs. How about that? One bite, everybody knows the rules. Not bad. And yes, these were already fully cooked. It doesn't get that hot to, to cook this. Not on the turbo anyway. Probably would on the Polaris. No snow here, the rocks and logs are a big problem. Ribs for anybody who gets up here. Sure not the cleanest lunch to eat on the mountain, but pretty savory lunch for the hill. Issue now is I have to somehow deal with all this barbecue sauce and tinfoil and not make an absolute mess of my bag. I'd also love to know how I got rib juice on my goggles. <laughs> it's too bad nobody joined me for lunch and got to enjoy my ribs with me. Sounds like Darren might have some broken rollers in his clutch. The secondary is not closing, so we'll go have a look. Oh yeah, it's big hole. Yeah, I'll just limp it out. Yeah, it's definitely your rollers. <laughs> You're kind of hard on Reagan. No, that is not my fault. <laughs> if we look right in here, I don't know if you guys could see it, but no, no, right, yeah, no, well, you could see a piece of a broken roller oh, right I there. See it. Yeah. yeah, I got to use one of your sleds. <laughs> If you go pick it up from the dealer, sure. Okay. Okay, trying to find an easiest way out here now. I'll limp that sled out of here. Shouldn't have any problem, really. Back to the trail. That's quite a far ways down there. <laughs> ah, you copy? Yeah, just follow my track. Oh, I've been making my own track. Eventually, did you come up on a second track? <sighs> no, you're on my track. Just drop down. I gotta let my boat, boat cool down. It's uh, overheated. <laughs> that was great through there. I just do a quick jaunt up here. The tree branches all stabbed me. Pretty sure it's just like a straight cliff right here. Wow. These guys were stuck over the edge here. This track's pretty far down right here. Steep, steep. Kind of looks like they side hilled right around. Must have been some good riders in here. Shit, they did. They came right up this. Or down, I don't know. I'd like to know who was in here. <laughs> Big tidal wave of snow. The gang is all here. We're, we're almost out-ish. <laughs> Having fun? Yeah. <laughs> Just ripping around, eh? It's always my favorite zone. Yeah. Oh. You just like the, the mellow trees.
That looks awful to do every day. I'll go help him. And that is it for today's video. It's been a while since we did an outro here, so I figured why not sitting at the laptop here, 10 o'clock, everybody's in bed. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you tomorrow.